What's going on guys, hope all as well. In this video, I wanna show you guys how to input the Forex alerts that come through your Telegram channel. And I'll go ahead and share my screen. So when you guys wanna trade Forex, you guys would have to have an MT4 account. And once you guys open your MT4 account, you guys will see trade, the running trades, which will go over. And you will see something called codes, right? On the top, on the bottom left side, codes. Now, this is where you find your currency pairs, commodities, and so on. Now, if you guys don't see a currency pair, you would have to search it on here and it will show up, right? For instance, if I add them, it will simply show on my codes. Now, once you guys have that, you guys will receive a trade idea like this, right? Once you guys receive this idea, the first thing you guys want to do is to find your pair that you want to trade in, right? And that's GBP and ZD, Great British Pound and New Zealand Dollar. Now, once I find my GBP and ZD, I would click on it. And once I click on it, it has three options. It says trade, chart, details. I would go on trade, right? Now, we have a strike price, which we'll get in a trade, right? And this is our current strike price, right? The current market price is 1.96244, right? Now, when we receive the trade, obviously this is a past trade. However, assuming this was at 1.9645, I would be looking for a sell, right? So let's go in and put our position size. Now, this totally depends on your risk management. This is basically how much you're risking and it will affect your PL profits and losses throughout your trading. Now, if you guys have an account under $1,000, right? I would suggest start with 0 0.01 and grow it eventually, depending on your own risk management. Now, you guys have something called a stop loss. A stop loss is our seatbelt. If the trade doesn't go our way, we have a point that it will automatically take us out of the trade and we will have less losses throughout our trading, right? So for instance, in this case, it was 1.9745, right? And I would go ahead and put my TP1, which is 1.9615, right? And since I'm selling, I would say sell. Now it would show in your trade part, right? In this part, it would show all your running trades, right? And then on the right hand side, it will show the history of your daily and your weekly trade, monthly, and so on, right? So having this on, you guys already got the TP1 in. Now we want to put our TP2 in. You would hold, say trade, again, 0 0.01. Now what you guys want to do is initially the point is to divide your position to three, right? That way you have diversified your profits. So for instance, I already put my TP1, now I'll go ahead and put my TP2, however, with the same stop loss, which is 1.9745. And my TP2 this time, which is 1.9585. And I would say sell again. Now I would go ahead and do the same thing for my third target. 
my stop loss is 1.9745 and my TP3 is 1.9545 and I would say sell, right? So as you guys can see, if I was to risk, right? 0 0.03 in my whole trade, I divided that to three positions, right? Now, once it reaches my TP1, it's gonna put me out. It's gonna close this position and put it to my history side. Once it reaches TP2, the same thing, TP3, the same thing, right? And now from now on, you can leave the trade alone. So guys, that was a short video on how to input the Forex alerts inside your MetaTrader app. Hope that made sense and help you guys. I'll see you guys soon.